Okay people, this is Dennis Eatsma, Homestead, Florida and Panama City, Florida. Just finished uh, USA, just finished swapping out people the ignition coil on this 3.7 liter Mercruiser. This is a MCM 470, vintage 1989 I've had since it was new. And this coil is uh, model number, I got it from breezeworks.net, Kevin, at breezework.net, part number 40511. It has the built-in uh, internal resistor and I've marked the positive side with red paint. And uh, this is a slightly larger diameter than the one I took out, which I don't know if that was aftermarket or OEM, but now I got a spare coil. And uh, you'll see this thing starts like butter and shifts like butter. Anybody who says bad things about this engine, I'll say, yeah, it's not perfect. It has some issues like the leaky seals on the camshaft impeller and I hope to find a double seal or some way to make those seals easier to replace in future and the magnets like to rust if you let salt water get on them on the alternator rotor and the OEM original equipment manufacturers rectifier regulator generated a lot of heat but there's an aftermarket solution that's uh, a switching regulator from uh, CDI Electronics, Huntsville, Alabama, or you can uh, opt for the alternator kit, as like Kevin sells at BreezeWorks.net. And uh, gonna just touch the key here, and it's gonna start and run. Bang! Oil pressure is, uh, uh, I don't know, around 30, 35 when it's cold. And you'll see how it shifts. It's a little cold right now. It might kill out, but watch this. That was forward and back to neutral. Now the choke is full open. I don't set the choke on this one because I'm in southeast Florida, south of Miami, north of Key Largo and Homestead. And uh, I go out for the big mahi-mahi and I like to fish from Miami to Key West uh, for lobster. I like to scuba dive. Boat's not been off the trailer in like two years because I've been working on this project boat, but I think it's ready. And finally, I got my van where it can tow it now. I got the uh, hydro boost leak on there, the power steering leak solved yesterday, and the air conditioner working on the tow vehicle. So I may actually take this to the water soon. I may not have time. I got a lot of doctor visits uh, for cancer screening in Miami, but uh, let's see how it does reverse. Watch this. Back to neutral. Now this is the uh, Commander 4000 shifter generation 2 and there's even improvements for this if you look around YouTube for the Quicksilver Commander 4000. There's a guy that does some kits that even tightens up the spec on this control. The old controls were shot so I opted for new controls and new cables and uh, we did a gimbal bearing and we did the lower shift cable and made all the adjustments. Now the final adjustments have to be for optimum is boat in the water. I know shops, we don't do it in the water. I know. It takes time, money, people don't want to pay the extra time, but boat in the water is what the service manual says. Boat in the water is the final adjustments and the proof is in the pudding. Just watch the ship from neutral to forward. There's a little hesitation from the accelerator pump, but I was talking to Mike's carburetor, and uh, there is a improvement where you can set the uh, accelerator pump. You can adjust it with later versions of this carburetor. Now, I completely rebuilt the carburetor myself, and I went to the brass float like they recommended, and I really like the brass float. And most of the coolant leaks on this thing are between the seawater elbow and I recommend changing that gasket at least once a year and torque it to spec according to the service bulletin. The service bulletin gives you more detail in the service manual. And all the service manuals and service bulletins are posted online to the Facebook groups and the files section. And uh, so there's no reason to be ignorant about the service bulletins. And if you change your head gasket, make triple damn sure you follow the service bulletins. Because uh, if you torque the head wrong, you'll have you'll burn out the bearings, you'll have rod knock. 
So anyway, hope you enjoy the video, Dennis Seatsma. Have a good one.